Hi everyone. All right. So today I am going to do a what's in my bag everyday essentials video. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Um, I actually, yeah, I think it's been years since I've done it. Um, hold on here. I just realized that I don't have my phone because I took it out of my purse. Now I generally do not, um, store my purse or keep my purse upstairs in the house. Um, I usually keep it downstairs and on the sofa in the living room. <laughs> when I get home, that's where I leave it. So it's kind of odd for me to have it up here in the filming room. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So this bag is a kind of like a Louis Vuitton replica. Um, I got this bag for $4 at one of the bin stores at actually bin store number three, two years ago, I bought it. And then I didn't start using it right away because I was, I was using other, um, what do you call them? Belt bags, I guess you could say. Um, and they were a little bit bigger at the time I was carrying more stuff. I used to like carry like really, really big purses and for years, um, I guess it comes from like when you're living in the city, when I lived in San Francisco, um, I didn't have a car. I didn't need to, to, you know, public transportation. And so you kind of like learn to like carry everything that you really would need, um, you know, in a big bag. And so when I moved back to Memphis, um, it was kind of hard to get out of that. And then on top of that, you know, I have my own car. So it's like, I don't have to really to worry about carrying such a big bag all the time, but I just was still like, always like, I need to have this. I need to have this in my bag too, you know? So, um, when the trend, the whole trend started, I think I started switching to these type of bags 2019 because when I went to Japan, um, on vacation, we were on a tour, I knew I had to keep everything kind of minimal. Um, cause I just didn't want to be toting around such a big bag. And, um, I even carried my DSLR like separately. And that was kind of annoying too, because it's such a big camera. So, um, yeah. So when I switched over to like a belt bag like this, I figured, you know what, this is it. I'm going to have to start carrying smaller. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is, like I said, it's a replica and, um, it's a pretty, um, sizable belt bag. It's, um, the materials actually, it's been holding up pretty well. I've been trying to be aware of like, you know, if this is starting to fray here, because I've had a bag in the past where it broke like around here or like the stitching here, you know, had broke, but so far it's, it's held up pretty well. I started using this actually last year before I went to San Francisco in March and, um, before this bag used to be really stiff, but now because I've been using it, I switched back to this about, I think it was again, March of this year, I switched back to it. And because I've been using it every day, it's become much more soft and supple. So that's why I figured I, I shouldn't carry too much in here. So that way it doesn't start fraying. But because I like this bag so much, I went ahead and ordered one from Amazon and they go for $26 on, Am on Amazon, but I purchased a backup back on prime day last year. And I was able to get it for, I think it was 18 and it comes with a dust bag. So when I bought this, it was in a dust bag. It was brand new. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So this is how big it is. This is, let me show you. Okay. I don't ever, I don't understand what this is for. Okay. And then we've got a back pocket here. So this is just how wide it is. So we'll start with the back pocket. I typically look for a belt bag that is wide enough to hold my phone in the back pocket. I always want a back pocket. Okay. Um, and this one I love because the fact that the back pocket is so wide and I have like, if you have a Samsung galaxy ultra phone, you know how big those phones are. And, um, this one still has, not only will it fit it still has room in there, extra room. So that's why I love this bag so much because there's so much room. And I always like to carry my phone um, in the back. Hi, Clarissa, you just texted me. <laughs> okay, so, and I'm doing this video in, in conjunction with Clarissa, Paper Confessions with Caramia. So we'll go ahead and open the bag. Now, first thing I'm gonna pull out is a little pouch that I have that has all of my rings. So I've got two of my rings here and I keep all of my rings, which are mostly silver, 
in there. The reason why is because um, when I used to keep them next to my earrings, I would, for some reason, always forget to get my rings in the morning um, before I would leave. I would get my earrings, my, ne my necklace, but I would not get my rings. So I started carrying them in my purse. So then that way it would be easy for me to just put them on in the car if I realized, oh, I haven't put them on yet. And then, you know, when I get off, take them off, put them in, you know, the pouch. So most of the rings I have here are Moonstone and most of them are from TJ Maxx believe it or not. Um, these two right here are Labradorite. If you hear something in the background, that's the thunder. We're getting a thunderstorm. So hopefully the power doesn't go out. Um, so these two right here are, like I said, Labradorite. And I like this because it changes color in the light. It's like a blue, violet, sometimes green. And then I have here a spoon ring, which my dear friend Clarissa gave me last year. So I keep all of these in this little pouch that I got from the bin store. There's like a set of three, I think. So yeah, then I have my keys. So I have my, um, what do you call it? My gym card and then, um, house keys and like my sister's house, my brother's house, my other sister's house. <laughs> um, I have a little, um, this is my car key and then a little, uh, flashlight. So let's see. I probably need to change the battery for that. And I've got it on this little um, keychain. So I don't like to carry really big keychains. Um, I just wanted something that I could still stick around my wrist, but that was very lightweight. And this I got from Amazon. Sorry about that. Didn't know the battery ran out. So the problem with this camera is that it doesn't exactly always tell me when the battery is about to die. Because when I, I checked it before I started filming this video and it was full. So when I looked back up at the screen, it was showing that the battery died. Ugh, I don't even know where I stopped. I know I was on my wallet. So anyways, um, like I said, I, I don't carry a lot of cards. So um, we have like my bills right here. We have the slot, the little you know, pocket for the change. I still carry cash, always gotta have cash. I have my driver's license that I just got renewed. Um, I've got my debit card here, I've got credit cards under here. I've got Sam's and Costco medical cards and um, maybe some like point cards. Um, I don't carry any um, gift cards in my wallet because I don't want to bulk it up. So if I know that I'm going to go to that store, I will bring the, you know, the gift card with me then. Um, but typically I don't really have a lot of gift cards. I always, if I'm going to get a gift card, I always tell people I always want an Amazon card. So those stay at my desk. So the next thing we have is my um, sunglasses case. Now, this one I ordered from Amazon. It's got two slots. We've got right here and right here. So it's supposed to be for your sunglasses and your readers. Thing is, I don't like putting my readers in here because look at how bulky that is. And um, yeah, so I normally use like a case like this. I tried using the cloth ones, but I get so annoyed with them. And I usually use the Dollar Tree ones, but they had stopped selling these couple, uh, like, yeah, like a couple years ago. And I always had one, but it had worn at the edges here, the metal that's in there for the class had worn. And I was like, Ugh, you know, I would rather use these. And I ended up having to order from Amazon. And then guess what? Like months later, they started carrying these again. So that's why I stocked up when this one starts fraying. So the glasses, sunglasses that I carry, these are from Key. Now I purchased this uh, two years ago on Black Friday when they had a buy one, get one free. So I have two pairs, this one that I keep in my everyday purse. And then I have another pair that I keep in my um, belt bag for the gym. And that one, they're same, same model, but um, different color. So they, they're both polarized. The other one that I have for gym is like a dark blue, but I really like this. Um, it's kind of a classic, I guess you could say style. Um, but I really, really, really love polarized um, lenses. So, and I like the fact that this is wide as well. So the next thing I have are these, um, well, it, I have is a, um, reusable shopping bag. I always carry one of these in my bag. I have like four of them in my car, but they're bigger. They're not like this. This one is really meant for my purse, 
but I'm pretty good about um, bringing them to the store, like getting them out of the car and bringing them to the store. Cause I plastic bags just annoy me because they just accumulate, you know? So I always like make sure that I have one of these on hand. So um, yeah. So I'm not having like a big stack of like plastic bags to, you know, take to recycling. Um, oh yeah. I have tissue. I don't have like a pack of like the, um, you know, travel size because puffs my favorite tissue doesn't make travel size anymore um i used to buy them over at target and walmart but the only thing they have now is just kleenex and i don't like kleenex it's too scratchy so i typically will just grab a couple of um tissue of puffs and stick it in my pocket or stick it in my purse mostly stick it in my purse because you know what happens when you stick it in your pocket you forget it and then what happens you wash your clothes and then you know so, and it always happens with me with the gym because with spring season, um, I don't have allergies, but my nose has been dripping a lot. And so I've always had to like stick, you know, a puffs in my pocket for the gym. Cause when I'm on the treadmill, you know, or whatever, it, it's just dripping all over the place. And I don't want to use my sweat towel to wipe my nose. So, um, yeah. And then I forget when I get home to take it out and then, oh, it's such a mess. I have to clean up when I've done the laundry. So um, I'm trying to remember, like, stick it in the bag, like on my everyday bag. So I have a pen, okay, Energel. Um, this says 0.7, but I was able to get a pack of the refills from the bin store for cheap, for like a dollar. There was like six, I think, or something like that. So it's 0.5, actually, is what I use. That's like the perfect size the, for me when it comes to writing. Um, and then I have my earbuds. So I have three of these. These are the Samsung live buds. I've got one that I keep for using in the house, which is like rose gold. That was the very first pair that I bought. I have this one right here, which is black. Um, I bought the case from Amazon, but these are, no, no, no. I bought these from Amazon. That's right. So they were brand new when I bought them. And then I have a blue pair that I keep in my um, gym bag, my gym belt bag, um, that's blue. And I bought those from Best Buy and those were actually, um, refurbished, I guess. And I just love the quality, the sound quality of these. And I love the way it fits in my ear. I don't like the type of earbuds that you stick inside your ear. And I hate iPods, um, earbuds or whatever you want to call it, Apple earbuds, because those hang. And I find that those just fall off. Cause I have like knockoff ones of those and yeah, they always fall out, you know, but these fit in very securely in my ear. So that's why I have three of them and I'll probably buy another pair as a backup. So I have my readers here. I found these at the um, bin store for a dollar, but it didn't come with a case, but fortunately it was not scratched up. It was in great condition. This case is from a, and I probably, I don't know if I showed it. I probably did. Um, from a, uh, a set of readers that I ordered from Amazon. Um, and I didn't really need this case because the other pair sits on my desk. So I figured I'd go ahead and just use it for my purse. Cause you see, if I, like I had showed you, if I had stuck this in there, it would just be too bulky. But when it's separated like that, when it fits in my bag, it's like that, it doesn't take up as much space. So I have my, um, hand lotion here. I always have to have hand lotion. When you're in medical, you're constantly washing your hands and then your hands get dry. So you've got to have lotion. So this is the pricey stuff. I got three of these um, when I was on vacation in San Francisco last year. In fact, I was with Clarissa when I purchased these. She will remember because I told her she needed to take me to La Ossetane when we went to the outlets. So, um, I try, I use this very sparingly, okay, because it's so expensive. I have like the big giant tubes that I use here at home, but I don't want to tote around that big tube in my purse. So this one, I just use it just, you know, just in case if I really do need to moisturize my, um, my hands. And as you can see, it's, it's almost out. I typically carry like these. This is a knockoff of Tony Moly, but it works just as fine that I usually carry in my purse. So we've got my um, rewetting drops because I wear contacts. Always have to have that. I have here, um, this is a phone stand, which is great. It's from Am uh, not Amazon. It's from Ikea and it's a dollar. 
So whenever like I'm on, out to lunch and I want to like watch, you know, a video or I want to read stuff. I read a lot of stuff like on Wikipedia just to kind of like pass time when I'm on lunch. You know, this holds it up. And this is a pretty heavy phone, you know, but this this little stand works wonders. And I love that it's so lightweight. It's rubber and um, it's flat, you know. So, yeah, that was such a great find. I bought like six of them when I found them because I was like I gave them to my nieces and then I gave one to my sisters, you know. Um, yeah. So I always have this cutter here because you never know when you need to open something up, like get a package. Um, you just bought something like at the store and you want to open it up right away. I definitely need this when I'm at the bin store so I can open up stuff to see, you know, if it's damaged or whatnot. So, and I like that it's very compact and flat. So I have here my very favorite, um, lip moisturizer. This is from Laneige. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a conditioning balm. Okay. And it has like a slight sheen to it. I don't know if that the camera is picking it up. So, um, and it's supposedly has like a plumping effect. Not that I need it because I already have like big lips, but, um, I love this and a little bit goes a long way. I've had this now for almost two years and you can see I've only gone halfway through it. I've already bought a backup of it from Amazon. I found this at the bin store on $4 a day. And I was just, I didn't know, I mean, it was unused, but I didn't know just how good it was, but I haven't seen, um, I haven't seen any since I've seen other lineage, um, products, which I've shown before, but I love the fact that the applicator is right here. Isn't that awesome? I wish there are other, um, their nighttime one, which I use, um, the applicator was like that, but it comes separately. What else do I have here? Okay. So I don't have anything else in the big compartment, but let's see if I can show it. There are two, two more slots. We have this one right here, which is my um, oil blotting paper. It's green tea. I purchased this last year when I was in San Francisco. In fact, I was, yeah, this was at Daiso Clarissa when we went, when you took me. So I always keep that there. There's like a hundred sheets and it's really good blotting paper. Great. You know, it's only $1.75. Um, I always keep a mask here in the very back pocket. For one, I don't keep anything else in this back pocket because my phone um, screen faces the back pocket um, right here. And I don't want anything to crack the screen. So I only keep just a face mask. Um, I still carry one just in case because sometimes you're in places where, you know, the air doesn't smell clean. It smells like sick. <laughs> and when I went to renew my license, tried to renew it two weeks ago, I went and I made the mistake of going like around two o'clock in the afternoon and DMV was packed. The lobby was packed and the air just did not smell good. And there were people coughing. And I was like, oh, hell no, I don't want to get sick. Worst thing is getting sick in the summertime when it's hot. So, um, and for some reason I didn't have a mask. I think I had taken out the mask that I had before because I'd used it and threw it away and I forgot to replace it. So when I got home, I definitely, um, replaced it. So that's all the stuff that I have in this bag and it carries a lot. So let me put everything back. So I put this in here, all the small stuff. So it'll kind of stay at the bottom there. Okay. And then I usually will try to keep these two there. So that goes at the bottom as well. Uh, we've got my tissue. And then we've got, oh, let's put this. This will I'll try to put in the corner. There's my rings, my wallet. Sorry, I'm checking the window here because it's supposed to storm. And then my keys. I'm going to let this zip it up. Oh, I forgot my re-wetting drops. Always got to have that because nothing's worse than getting something in your freaking contact. Okay. So there we go. And I'll just put my phone in there later, but that is my bag, my everyday carry. All right, guys. So uh, show me what you got in your bag and tag me. So I'm tagging Clarissa back because she was the one that tagged me to do this video. All right, guys. See you on the next video. Bye.